Yo, what up everybody? Alright, it is Saturday here. Um, haven't really made a video in a while, we'll explain it very soon. Um, I'm suffering from some problems like uh, in one of my past videos I talked about mold and I've had health issues because of the mold and the last like week and a half, two weeks, it kind of came back full force. I had a lot of brain fog, a lot of headaches, a lot of stuffiness and it's really hard to make videos when that's going on. But today I'm actually going to do a shoot with my friend Casey again. She has some interesting concepts. We're going to be working with a model and kind of doing like a product shoot mixed with some other stuff. So it should be interesting. Head in there now. All right, so this is the first part of the shoot. Um, you know, you know, they wanted like four looks. They wanted a kind of I'm going out look. They wanted like a casual look, a sporty look and then a formal look. So what I did was, you know, he had a gym bag and we had like this product cologne and I said, OK, you know, we're gonna we're gonna like have you pack in the bag and pretending to go somewhere and that's focused on his, his hands and you know he's he's like a very muscular guy so I focused on the musculature of his hands and the contrast of the blue bag and the gray cologne to kind of give it like a nice feel you know so I got some really cool images there and then we went outside now one of the best things I think about like um, you know shooting for like street photography or is to kind of like shoot in such a way where uh, the image can be used universally you don't want something with like a sign in the background or a mountain range i think it's really good if you have merchandise being shot and it's just you know an asphalt or in a clear background or somewhere you can't really identify because then you can use the image in almost any market and um, because this was like sport and cologne i wanted you know like to kind of show him like uh, doing some kind of activity tying his shoelaces with a cologne nearby or you know warm up in the background as a cologne is in the front in, sorry is in the foreground and I was really pleased because I got some good images, um, you know, using these techniques, specifically using the area, as you see, um, to kind of show him like on the asphalt and you don't even know where he is. There are houses in the background, there are trees, there's grass, but he looks like he's in the middle of nowhere. All right, so for this part of the shoot, basically I'm focusing on trying to give a, an element of high fashion um, with his cologne. And then how do you project high fashion with a cologne? Well, you know, you can put the cologne beside another expensive item like a watch or something. But because I had this model, I said, okay, let me try and tell a story with him and the cologne. So I made him wear this cardigan that I brought because, you know, a cardigan is like a classic kind of sweater. And even if you just see the sleeve, it's nice and dark. It's luxurious just like the bottle and it gives you a sense of luxury and elegance. And then the way the light was and the positioning of the image allowed me to really create something very interesting and unique with this Tom Ford bottle. And... You know, eventually, you know, I positioned by the window because when I said, you know, when you're by the window, you know, I can use some natural light to create this like dynamic effect. You could be in Bali looking out, you know, on a horizon or, you know, preparing for, for like to go out and party with your friends or just thinking about some business deal that you have and you just happen to be holding a bottle of cologne in your hand. So, you know, I, I like what I, I, what I got with this and then I turned it up a little bit more. I said, you know, what if you look like a celebrity or a rapper or just somebody really really cool you'd probably be using Tom Ford cologne also so I said yo let me step it up a couple levels and get him wearing the hat and the cardigan so that that real lifestyle vibe um, comes out even more and I got some great images from that and then um uh, and then after that, you know, basically my focus was, okay, let's highlight the products themselves, but I didn't just want to shoot the cologne um, on a wall or on a shelf or something. I said, let me try and use the environment. And unfortunately for us, we had this large, uh, dark, opaque table that was very reflective. And I said, hey, you know, if I position the, 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 the colognes on this thing, you know, I can get like this nice mirror image effect. The paintings in the background kind of create this uh, uh, interesting kind of diluted background. And I just kind of positioned the bottles and, and some of the cases to kind of bring out the gold elements. And you know, I, I, I instructed a model to stand up with the reflectors because I was I had a Godox uh, umbrella. So when I when the flash hit uh, the so when the flash hit the bottles, you know, the light would also bounce off the reflector and kind of balance the light for the whole image. This also produced some incredibly interesting images, which I was quite proud of because you know I kind of came up with that on the spot. And for the last look, which was the, um, the, you know, him going out, you know, he's like, I'm going out. And I was like, okay, well, when you're going out, you're going to the bathroom, you know, you, you check where you look, you want to make sure you look fresh, you want to make sure you smell fresh. So he's in the bathroom with his cologne bottle and I'm shooting him and kind of instruct him like, yo, you know, um, act like you're spraying yourself naturally, act like you're doing um, what you do when you go out. And then I just took like close-ups of the cologne in his hand. I also tried to get some wide shots of him kind of like preparing for the night because this is what we do when we 
you know, spray ourselves with cologne, wash our faces and get ready to go. And I just wanted to kind of associate that feeling with those kind of things. And um, all in all, I was pleased with the shoot. You know, the guys were great, had a good time and um, it was a good vibe. Yeah, that's you know. All right, so just finished the shoot. Good vibes. You don't know. Big ups to this guy right here. Is it me? What say? What was the vibe? It was good. Very yeah. good. Excellent. You know, and the man, the man did well. He <laughs> represented the hat well. <laughs> and Ronaldo in there getting ready. So what a good, what a good time. Picture should come out good, and you don't know. Hey man, See me, the boss himself. Well done, well done. What you say? You, know. you enjoy the shoot, yeah? Yeah, man, well done. Next time he's gonna wear the hat. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, boom. Oh, thanks, Kevin. Yes, no problem. <laughs>